I just realized that I have an exam tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. And I'm filming this video. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> What's up, I go by Ant Day Video, and today I'm gonna to be sharing three music video lighting tips that I've found especially useful as I've been doing this for a couple of years now. A lot of people are making music videos and a lot of people are becoming content creators. And it's important to, like, it's important to find your way in that mix so you don't blend in with everyone else. And so one of the ways I thought that I could do that myself was by utilizing lighting like in unique ways. And by all means, these tips aren't something that I made up. These tips are seen in large budget music videos, but I just think that the tips that I'm gonna share with you today can be used in your own way to create many different looks. One thing I like to say about lighting just before we get started is that lighting adds a sort of dimension to your videos that would otherwise not be there if you were solely reliant on what you were capturing in the camera and nothing else a lot of music videos today are shot with just the camera and reliant on the edits but when you incorporate different elements like lighting or audio into your music videos you you create a whole nother path for yourself you you set yourself apart from other videographers so that you can be easily recognized and booked for music videos. The first lighting trick I want to get into is called light movement. Like I said, this is not something I made up. It's used in a lot of music videos, but moving light is something that I didn't think about at first and I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't really think about because when you think of movement in a scene, you're thinking of the camera, right? But when you incorporate light movement, you add a whole another sense of depth in your scene. One of the ways you can incorporate movement in your lights is by moving the background lighting. Now this is most notable in, um, what's it called? The, the What's Poppin' remix with Jack Harlow. Not in the original, in the remix version of that music video. There's a lot of light movement in the background and you see it adds a sense of depth in the background and sort of brings the subject out in the foreground. While as a director, you can use it to sort of add a stylistic element to your scene. It can even be used to help support concept, mood, or story. For example, in one of the music videos I shot uh, like last week, two weeks ago, if I'm not mistaken, um, the song was called Yellow Tape. And so I made every scene literally a crime scene. And so what I did with the light is I had a spotlight and I kind of moved it in a, in a swaying motion to mimic that that police search lighting you would find at a crime scene. You can do a bunch of stuff with this uh, with light movement. Uh, it really it really depends on the video you're trying to create. But just put a lot of thought into how you move the light and what is what it's motivating, and you should be able to get a great scene out of that. Your second tip is called accent lighting. This is similar to practical lighting and which you just use lighting that's already in the scene. For example, you see the lamps and shit behind me? That's an example of accent lighting. It just brings the scene to life so it's not some stale ass frame you're shooting. A lot of the times we we kind of overlook the light that's already in the scene as maybe like overhead lighting, but find some lamps around or any other Christmas lights. That's a little moon thing I got from Target. Stuff like that can just add to the scene's depth and give you an overall better looking image. One way you can spice up your accent lighting is by adding to it. I use these Aperture MCs and um, if you find like a little doorway or any spot that you can clamp them onto since they are magnetic on the back, you can turn on the, uh, what is it called? Faulty bulb effect. And what that'll do is create the effect of a broken light bulb that flashes and you can have that going on in the background of your scene as you're shooting your, your main subject, keyed in frame. It just adds to it at the end of the day. That's what we're trying to accomplish. We're trying to accomplish a, a stylistic framing that's motivated, of course, but that looks different. Last but not least, I'm proud of myself because I think I figured this out on my own, uh, but it's probably done before. Um, I call it the, what do I call it? <laughs> Let me check my notes. I call it the backlight star filter. That's basically what it is. So lenses, you 
you should be able to purchase an attachment um, for your lens that allows you to create stars out of light sources. So you can create six point stars or four point stars or however many point stars you want, depending on what you purchase, but you can create these star effects for your backlights. And if your backlight is aiming into the lens, you'll get like a four point star from that light. And again, this just adds an element of style to your scene. So one way you can spice up your star filter light is by adding color to it. I did this in my uh, Frio Frio music video and I thought it was fucking amazing. I thought it was the best thing in the world. It's still my favorite music video, but anyway, I really hope you guys learn something from this. I hope you can apply these techniques in your own creative way, in your own music videos so that you can stand out, you know? Um, it's hard nowadays, everyone's buying a camera and the more you can do something to separate yourself from the rest, the better off you'll be, honestly. Thank you for watching. Hopefully I will make another video by next week so that I can upload. Um, I've been learning a lot in my little journey and I'm, I'm just excited to share it all, honestly. Um, it's been a great experience. I'm so grateful for everyone that's helped me out, for all of my clients, it's love. And I'm excited to keep doing this and sharing shit. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, hey.